This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It's now just about 6.53, time to get you ready to take on your Valentine's Day Wednesday with the Morning Sprint. Allison Martinez is giving us a live sneak peek of a new thrift store opening up in Spokane Valley today. Sydney Charles has details on a historic impeachment by the Republican-led House. But first, we're waking up to some dense fog again. Let's get over to Mark's forecast with what else you can expect today. Good morning. That dense fog advisory in effect until 8 a.m. this morning. Now, we are seeing very cold conditions in around our region with temperatures in the low to mid 20s. It's a frosty start, so if you parked outside, you might have frost on the windshield. Just be ready for that. Uh, forecast radar, yet yeah, we're going to stay pretty clear throughout the afternoon. We're going to have sunshine. Things look pretty nice, and then we're going to get some light snow coming in later on tonight, uh, about the time you're going to bed. High today is going to be 36 degrees. Spokane County voters are saying yes to school levies, but no to bonds. There are still votes to be counted today from the special election, but right now a Spokane Public Schools $200 million bond appears to be failing. It needs a supermajority of 60% to pass, and it only has a little more than 54% as of right now. And despite the bond's rejection, early results show more than half of voters said yes to the replacement levy. It would help fund programs and operation expenses, things like nurses, counselors, technology, athletics, and advanced courses. It'll cost taxpayers living in the district $250 per $1,000 of assessed property value each year. Our early returns show Central Valley's operation levy passing with 52% voting yes. This proposition would pay for teachers, special education, nurses, counselors, music, athletics, and extracurriculars, and cost taxpayers almost $44 million next year. For Central Valley's safety and facility levy, the early results showing it's passing with 51% saying yes. The proposition, too, asked for $7 million, which would be used to create the secure entrances, repair roofs, improve heating and cooling, enhance playgrounds, and upgrade technology. Voters in the growing Cheney School District had to decide on two different levies and a $72 million bond. The bond would allow the district to build a new elementary school in Airway Heights and make improvements at other schools. Right now, that bond appears to be failing. It needs a 60% supermajority to pass. Currently, only 54% are in favor. Cheney's $16 million levy to pay for school safety, athletics, arts and special education appears to be passing with 55% of the vote. That needs just a simple majority. And the $740,000 technology levy is passing right now as well with 58% of the vote. It also needs a simple majority. You can see the full list of election results on KXLY.com. For the first time in 150 years, the historic impeachment of a sitting cabinet member. The Republican-led House voted to impeach Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas over his handling of the southern border. The House voted to impeach him by a single vote yesterday. But their effort is expected to die in the Democratic-led Senate, where Majority Leader Chuck Schumer calls the case a sham and a new low for House Republicans. This is the second attempt by House Republicans to impeach Mayorkas. Well, today we're hoping to learn more about a standoff that closed down Ash Street near Wabash in northwest Spokane yesterday. Police say a SWAT team was looking for a wanted person who was inside a home in that area. They did not tell us what the suspect is wanted for. Authorities eventually did break down the door and sent in a drone to find the person. You check for updates on our website, KXLY.com. This morning, we know the man shot by two police officers in downtown Spokane Monday afternoon has died. That shooting happened around noon in the area of Riverside and Howard. Police say they responded to reports of a suicidal man waving a knife at people on the sidewalks. Two officers eventually shot that man. Now this was the second deadly shooting involving Spokane police officers in the same day. And today, Mayor Lisa Brown will be holding a press conference to address crime and other public safety concerns. We'll have a full wrap-up from Mayor Brown's press conference tonight on 4 News Now at 5 and 6. You can also watch it live by downloading the KXLY News app or KXLY Plus for free on your connected TV. This morning, we've been showing you around Fitty Club. Now, this is a brand new thrift store coming to Spokane Valley on Sprague and Sullivan. Now, this has a unique model. You pay a one-time membership fee, and you have access to as many items as you'd like for 50 cents a piece. Today is opening day, so you can come on by, tour the store, and decide if you'd like to sign up for a membership. We have more information on our website, kxly.com. And check your refrigerator. Some salad kits are being recalled because they could 
be contaminated with listeria. The salad kits were processed on the same line as a cheese recently recalled for possible traces of listeria. The recalled products include Dole, President's Choice, and market-side brand salad kits. Anyone with the products are urged to discard them immediately. We're back with the final check of weather in this hour coming up with Mark right after this.